All right, welcome today. This is Simeon from praisetracks.com, and we are going to be entering into the world of Preparato. And Preparato is a brand new library from Experimenta Project. And some of you are familiar with Experimenta Project from their uh, Douay series of pianos that we reviewed uh, in the past. And uh, I am just very excited about this new library. You know, I'm always amazed at um, all of the work that goes into it. It's like a prepared piano, but it's like a modular type of thing. So they recorded this, uh, you know, he said it took him about two years to do this. And when you look at some of the videos, you just see just, uh, there is just something about it, just the essence uh, that is embodied in this, um, this library. You know, Flavio had mentioned uh, in a post that I read that um, it was like 100 degrees in the church, in this beautiful uh, church that they recorded this piano in. And I think it's a Schimmel Grand. You know, it's such an interesting library. And really, there's no way we're going to be able to cover everything. But you know, you know what we're going to do here, as we always do, we're going to play through and we're just going to see what happens and we're going to experience this together. And if it's your first time here, uh, you know, go ahead and subscribe because uh, this is an exciting day as well. Not only are we introducing a new library, but this is going to be the first library that we're going to be, that I'm going to be using this uh, new SL88 Grand uh, from Studio Logic. Uh, they had sent one on loan for me to experience and to share. You know, when you look at the name, uh, Preparato, it reminds you of prepared instantly. And so, uh, you know, John Cage used a lot of weird techniques like putting things in the piano. And that's what they've done here. They've, they've created uh, 15 different uh, treatments. You know, you have just the regular uh, piano. You've got coins and screws and metal chains and picked uh, mallets, uh, soft mallets, felt, brushes. So, uh, you know, it's incredible. And if you look here, you see you've got one, two, three, five slots. So you can layer up to five different pianos. You have a, the ability to split and layer and stack the different layers with the uh, on the keyboard, across the keyboard here. You know, so much is going on in the world. And so it's just, uh, it's just overwhelming sometimes, but we're going to get, uh, get through some of this. We're going to get through it together uh, and it's going to be fun. So listen to that. So let's just look and see what we've got here. Yeah, so this is just the sustained uh, piano here. And just how spacious that is. And you can look at the effects. We've got compressors, you got a little compression going on and uh, an arpeggiator. But this is what I think is going on with this is the convolution. And I love the convolution effects in contact because it just can take a sound into so many different areas. Yeah. Okay. And distant war. Okay, let's let's take a listen. Oh yeah, so that's yeah. So that's some bowed staccato. That is out there. Wow. We're okay here. Distant war. So it's got some really fun, real wild effects going on here. Now this is an epic piano. And it's got the mod wheel. Um, and let's see. Okay, so right here, we've got soft mallets, pick, tremolo, sustain, and brushes. Yeah. Yeah. 
And let's look at the, uh, yeah, so you can see they've got this stacked because all the keys are black and then you've got Yeah, we'll get in our we'll get in our groove here. You had some very unusual sounds. You know, pianos and libraries, they they go all over the place as far as we need so many different things to be able to express different different emotions. So this is memories. And it looks like I'm in D flat today. <laughs> And you can see that mod wheel affects um, it affects what we're doing here. Yeah, it's just the motion. And you see this this blue section here. Yeah, so that's the sustain nodes. That's the beauty of I think of this uh, key layering setup that we have. Soft pop. Let's just see what we've got here. So we've got, okay, so we've got a sustain, pick and soft mallet and brushes with this. Yeah, you hear how rich that is. The more colors, the more opportunities to create some beautiful things. And I like the velocity response here, so listen to what happens. So it just gives you a nice range of expression. Okay, soft pop. Let's go some more. Rainbow. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is cool. So you see the red and the orange, the yellow, green, and blue, and how he has that mapped across the keyboard. Let's take a listen to what a rainbow sounds like. Yeah, <laughs> that's very unusual, very cool. And this is uh, coins, sustained felt and screws. Wow, that's... Uh... Yeah, that gets a little, little strange and mysterious. Let's go to keyboards, 80s piano. Okay, so this is the sustained and pick uh, layer. It's got a layer here. But just out of the box, just how beautiful and rich that piano sound. Just solo the sustain. And let's see, we've got uh, equalizers here. And we've got like a really cool convolution room. And we'll go, let's go to the main. So right here, you can adjust the close mic in the middle and then the ambient mic. Uh, so let's just listen to the different uh, mic positions on the sustained uh, piano. And now this is the middle mic. And you can hear it just opening up a little bit more.
it's wonderful. So let's just look at here. So the, um, okay, we've got filter and distortion. Yeah, so there we go. Yeah, that's, that's better. So now let's listen to the church, the church mix. Yeah. And you just hear that ambience and uh, let's see, let's just hear, let's just turn it off and turn that off and that way you can just hear the um, the church mix the mic mix here we've got a little delay okay so yeah he's got you know flavio you've got so many goodies underneath the hood There's so much stuff hidden, hidden under the hood, and it just gives you so many different options. Um, it's just amazing. Yeah, so you've got the settings here. You can, you can set the velocity curves, uh, the sympathetic resonance, pedal noises, big piano. Yeah, so here we go. So we've got the sustain and felt and mallets and pick layered. So you have, uh, have different things going on with the velocity layers. Okay, we're getting there. Yeah, you can just, and then the, then the velocity response. So we just were doing this hard, hard hitting stuff. So that just shows you the, uh, the flexibility the flexibility of just one sound having so many different things going on. So you can play it lightly and just dig into it. like the sound of the mallets and the felt uh, in that um, that just gives you a many places to go okay so 
my. And then look at look at all of the um, just just the just the material that you have here. Um, let's see. It's just incredible. My goodness. It's just it's just overwhelming a lot of times because uh, <laughs> it, uh, it it just shows you the work that's gone into this and um, it's just so appreciate I so appreciate that I so appreciate all the work that uh, has gone into this so this is the um, okay this is old piano so let's take a listen yeah yeah so it's a little. little detuned and then we've got um, some different things going on with the the tape effect yeah so you've got some saturation and wow and flutter with the tape uh, now that's not the keyboard that's that that's the sound that's built in there <laughs> so it's got that soft mallet and sustain okay that's so that's so cool now, this is like a, um, okay, like a synth, uh, like a prophetish synth. And I think we've got some, uh, possibly some envelope. Um, yeah, so in, some envelopes and, uh, yeah. Okay, so let's see. And I, I'm, I always forget. So we've got these, um, yeah. So the filters and then, the yeah, the envelopes. Oh, yeah, listen to that. So it's almost like a pad, like a nice pad. And you get that, I think, when you're doing the, um, yeah, the, the envelope generators. Yeah, that's really, really wild. Let's go back to some of the, uh, the classic sunset. So having all of these different effects. And we can adjust the tape saturation. So you can just create just so many different textures. Um, yeah. So let's go to um, Indie. And see, you got the velocity layers that bring in different elements as you play harder, and that's what just gives it just that personality. And they all just fuel. There is just that creative fuel that goes on. I just never know what's going to happen when I'm just stumble across really cool melodies and.
that's cool. That's really cool. Yeah, it, it takes us sometimes a little while to get into things. So you've got a large room and let's throw, um, man, let's just throw one of these um, shimmers, this the shimmer effect, uh, convolution effect on here. We'll back it down a little bit. And sometimes just a little bit just adds that little taste. Yeah, I love it. Uh, light, light, uh, okay. Um, <laughs> well, it looks like light, L-E-G-E-T-I, the Getty of uh, seven, and uh, so let's see, coins and. So the kind of, kind of scrape uh, with the brushes, playing that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. So talking about destinations, I mean, uh, yeah, man, talking about a destination is uh, pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's just see some more. Let's just see what kind of trouble we can get into. Um, okay. So this is miscellaneous minor seventh. And let's just Let's just take a listen. It's just like you're, it's just like you're, you're exploring just an unknown, um, just unknown territory and you, you turn a corner and you find something, something totally different. So you've got the layers tuned a little bit to give you that really cool, that really cool effect. Just very mysterious and very colorful and unique, unique sounds. You get those unique sounds because they are, you're able to combine all of the 15 different techniques together. Um, I think um, when I first saw uh, some of the video uh, on this, uh, you know, just just some of the very first video and seeing the ability to layer these five different sources, um, you know, I, I was just it's just like it's just like going and uh, down a continuous, um, uh, you know, things just continue to open up when you when you have so many different ways of shaping and. Um, working with these sounds. So, uh, okay, movie bass hit. So let's check out what that sounds like. <laughs> In a world. Now that's cool. 
Yeah, see, and this is the thing. Um, I asked Flavio about what to, how, what's a tagline for this? So Preparato is the virtual piano prepared library uh, sound design, modular acoustical sound design library. There's so many things. Yeah, so it's sound design. So you can get into some very cool sound design techniques with this um, because he gives you all of those abilities uh, with all of these different layers. So let's see what we've got here. And we're just, okay, tango. Okay, so we've got to figure this out. And to think that this is this is a piano, a sampled piano. So you've got bow techniques, pick and sustain, and then you've got uh, yeah. See the envelopes are yeah. The attacks are being affected by that. Yeah, it's an amazing library because you can you know they they mangled the piano in different ways, creative ways, so you wouldn't have to. Um, so this is a toy cello. Okay, so it's using the bow technique again. So let's take a listen. <laughs> yeah. Okay, toy E piano. Okay, so this is using a felt, uh, the felt. So let's take a listen. So it just gives you some really fun, fun things to play with. Like, okay, so this is like a toy piano, piano pianola, like a, like a band. Okay, so they're, they're picking this, uh, like they're using the pick technique. So let's see what that's, let's hear what that's, see, I, I, I'd say that a lot. Let's see what this sounds like, because honestly, honestly, that's what happens to me. When I hear something, I see something, um, because sound creates sight. Um, sound creates uh, vision, and they're they're interconnected. When I see something, I may hear something in my mind's uh, ear, but when I hear something, I see something, and so that's that's the beauty and and the mystery of sound because sound. That's why I say it transports you to different places. It does. Uh, so let, yeah. So let's see. Uh, this is the uh, pianola. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I, I get so excited. So it's just like an old, uh, old type of banjo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just amazing. Okay, okay, now this is the cello. I love the boat. Yeah, I love the way that they've got all of these techniques. So let's go to miscellaneous and um, look at, um, okay, man. Okay, okay, let's listen to this. Oh, wow, okay, so we've got some different things. We've got tremolo and bow, okay, so here we go, okay. Okay. So that may be transporting us into some... <laughs> yeah, listen to how that... That's evolving the sound. Yeah, listen to that.
Yeah, I'm just holding the one note down and, and it's just continue. Yeah. yeah. It's just creating that, that really bizarre atmosphere. Yeah, and that's just using the close mic. So I'm gonna play up a little bit higher. And um, yeah, so we've got the tremolo and the bow. So I'm gonna play up a little bit higher and see. You've got all different, <laughs> you've got all kinds of crazy things happening there. Wow, okay, so let's just look. Um, so you've got, you've got some pitch modulation going on. Yeah, and the filters. And of course the, um, you know, the choruses, uh, man, just so many different things going on here. Um, okay, so let's go to the moving again. And I wanna show you how the, uh, this arpeggiator is, works. This is one, one cool thing that I love about contact libraries. The recent ones, uh, when, they, when they went to a, this new engine using the ar arpeggiator, it, it just has, created a whole new set of opportunities for developers to create a live and moving library. So here we go. And thing, the thing is, these arpeggios just are like start, you know, it just gets ideas started. And then you can use multiple instances and uh, just do different parts. Like this could be a be one part. So let's go to Arp 2. Yeah. So it just gives you some really cool opportunities. So it's like percussive. And there's different uh, directions that you can go with it and you can swing it and you can introduce like a humanize so it's not so static. Yeah, so the mod wheel, the mod wheel affects, yeah, it brings those different layers in. So the mod wheel brings in all of those different, um, all of those different types of um, layers. It just helps you create different layers. Like with this, it's like the filter. And it opened up, it opens up that filter when you Yeah. 
So the preset system that they have set up here, I think is really useful because you can store, uh, you can store your own uh, presets. Um, that is what's so, so good about that. And, and I, I like integrated presets uh, because it just helps to keep things organized. Um, so this is called water. And I'm looking at CPU and with all the streaming stuff going on, it's around 11, 12. Sometimes, you know, it's just dancing all over the place, but not going over, I would say like 14, 15 with all of this going on. So it's just immense um, with all of the, um, you know, with all of the stuff that um, that Flavio had and his team went through. It's just, um, it's amazing. Um, all of the recording and editing, and uh, I, I mean, he, I mean, I think Flavio, you mentioned it took two years, uh, about two years, to bring this kind of together. And if I understand what I'm reading on the website, that Preparato is like just the beginning of what um, of what this series is going to be. So I'm very, uh, very curious uh, to uh, to to uh, see what's coming out. I mean, I I don't know how you can really top this uh, anymore, but it's just really amazing what you've done here. Yeah. So look at this. We've got we've got some pads. Yes, like, so angelic strings. Let's just listen to that. So we've got the bow technique here and with all the different um, effects, yeah. Let's see, let's just add the sustained piano. So let's take the boat string and we can filter out. That's really beautiful. Okay. So, Celestial Pad, let's check that out. 
Yeah, so this this has felt screws, metal chain, bow, and soft mallets. And you can see attack and release envelopes, just different amounts of just, I mean, just so, so much for each, uh, each module, each of the five different layers. Uh, you know, you have uh, total control over that. And the beauty about having all of the different sources is all the complex things that, that are going on with this sound. There is so much going on, just so much going on. Okay, so in the chapel, in the chapel. So this is a tremolo, yeah. And here you've got, yeah, you've got church bells. So you've got the convolution effect of the church bells and the hall just making this just very interesting. I mean, it just, I just get so overwhelmed by a lot of this stuff. Okay, so normal. Let's, let's, just, let's just listen to some normal. Let's just check out some normal things. <laughs> This is the felt preset. So it's like striking the, the key with that felt uh, mediator on there. Um, okay, so brushes. Okay. And Flavio, thank you so much for joining us. And thanks all, thank all of you for joining and for supporting the channel. And um, I've been so excited about, uh, about how the channel is growing and, and how you all, all, every one of you are a big part of making that happen. And so I just really appreciate it. So this is, they're playing the piano with brushes. So let's just check that out. You get so many complex uh, harmonics and different things going on with the attacks and that kind of thing. And sometimes you, you hear different things happening. I never know. A coin. So this is the coin. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. You know, and I dropped some coins in a piano one time. <laughs> you know, Flavio asked me which uh, which technique was my favorite. And and uh, let me just see. I want to I want to check out the uh, 
I think it's got to be like the 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 pick the pick brushes them out, just taking the piano kind of like out of its out of its context a little bit. So um, yeah, so this is the pick. Uh, let's just take a listen. I'm still I'm still listen. I'm just like ankle deep in this uh, because it, it's almost like you're standing at the edge of the ocean, and I've just kind of like just got right into where the water's coming up on the beach with this. Uh, that's how that's how vast I think it is. So when you when you have a library like this, this is one of the it's one of the challenges for me is because you you're learning new libraries all the time, and when the developer has put so much of his heart and passion and creativity into this, it's like he's he it's like you feel like you're literally being thrown into an ocean. And so, honestly, just uh, just the little time that we spend here, I, I feel like I've just stepped into just l literally where the water is just coming up on the beach and just basically coming up to my ankles because there is so much depth into this in this instrument. And uh, so, um, yeah. So time uh, time is just discovering and. Um, Using things in context and finding finding those favorite things, finding those things, and e then even being surprised when you're going through presets. So uh, let's take a look. Listen at uh, let's take a listen to the pick uh, pick preset here. Yeah, presets are great. They're springboards. They'll take you somewhere uh, when you learn the other intricacies of the library. So here we go. That, that lower end is terrific. Yeah, you, you just hear a richness and fullness down there. And then you hear the delicate upper end. Terrific. Soft mallet. And I think I like this. One. I think I'm going to like this one too. happening in between the notes and the samples and that's what just makes it so interesting so when you when, listen real close and listen to and let me let you uh, see if you hear what I hear when I'm doing this it's just little random um, scrapes and different things that just add interest to this Hear the uh, the dampers coming off the strings. I really, you know, it, it, it's just what is your favorite? It's just like it's so hard. But this is the, yeah, this is just the straight ahead sustained piano.
out. Yeah, nine, ten percent CPU with just the sustain. Wow. And that's just the sustain. Um, well, so metal mallet. So this is a, a metal mallet. A hard mallet, yeah. No, I like that. It's almost like a, a, a almost like a dulcimer type of uh, effect. So chain. Okay, so let's listen. So they've got some chains laying inside. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just those little things and that you can, you know, that you can use to create just some amazing things. The brush rub. So they take the brush and kind of kind of excite the um, the piano strings with that. And when you put those different pieces together, it's what creates that magic uh, that happens. Okay. Yeah, just under the hood, that, those, those three little dots, um, there is so much. Um, and just the, just the creativity and doing things that you would not normally think of. This is the thing about uh, Preparato, and I, uh, is that um, I love the way that Flavio has taken the interface and just with all of the stuff going on, he's created a way to get to things intuitively. I think that I think just the concept of having like a piano library and you have pads and brass and different things that you can explore is really um, interesting. Yeah, listen to that. Just the textures. Medieval pad. And here we go with the um, the medieval pad. Listen to that. Uh, so this is Viking.
So we can solo these and see where the layers are. So the metal chains are all the way across. The brushes are in that metal section and the bow, um, let's see. Yeah, the bow is down lower. And when you, when you have these soloed, you can see when it's black, that means that different, uh, different ones are overlapping. Yeah. That's just beautiful. Okay, cinematic. And we might uh, just stop with this here. How beautiful and spacious that is. So once again, I just want to thank you for joining me today. And, um, you know, every day is a gift. Every day is a blessing. And, um, and I tell you, you are, you're looking at one grateful, uh, grateful man here. I'm very grateful and thankful for all the opportunities that, um, that I've been blessed to have. And, uh, it's just such a wonderful opportunity, uh, to, to have met Flavio and to just to be able to have that uh, relationship as far as being able to work together and to um, share music together, uh, no matter where you are in the world. It's, that's what's so amazing, that all of these things uh, just kind of pull us together, tie us together. And it's just such a blessing. And I'll have links in the description uh, where you can go uh, purchase uh, Preparato from Experimental Project. And um, and I and believe me, I don't think that this is the end. I think this is the beginning of something really cool that uh, Experimental Project and Flavio is going to be working on. I, I'm just going to be very uh, pleased and surprised. See, that's the thing. It's just the just the beautiful, um, just natural. It, that shimmel uh, grand is just got a unique. Um, it's just got such a unique and beautiful sound to it, and you see the church that they recorded it in, and that brings that extra something that I always believe that's a part of it. That you're capturing the space. Uh, when you're sampling these instruments. And that is a much part of the instrument as the instrument itself is where you record it and sample it, so. All right. Well, I tell you what, until next time, thanks so much for watching and uh, thanks for all the support and for subscribing and um, I can't wait until the next time that I see you. And uh, it's just always a pleasure to uh, be able to come and present. And sometimes when I get on here, I just don't know how to get off because I enjoy sharing with you so much. So if you have any questions, uh, once uh, we're off, um, off the live stream, just uh, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. And I will do my best to, um, to answer your questions and to uh, just uh, help support uh, your efforts and discovering these libraries together. So this is Simeon Amberge from praisetracks.com and I wanna wish you guys a great day and we will see you soon. All right.